Welcome to Blackpool. And it's Illuminations. We've got 40 hours here, so... Let's get started. Well, we can all suffer a little bit of peer pressure from time to time, and in Blackpool that is certainly the case. Why is that, Paul? Because there are three peers. There certainly are. The north, the central and the south. So we're going to go north to south. Let's get going. Well, we didn't have much luck on the 2P machine, as usual, but right behind us is Blackpool Tower. We'll be there later on. Wow, so it seems that Sooty has performed here on the North Pier over the years. Wow, it looks like the pier is closed. Yes, this is as far as we can get today. Uh, because it is off season, not all the amenities are open, but there's still a lot to see in black. How are you liking Blackpool so far? Yes, well, it's nice that there aren't that many crowds here. It's not crowded at all, it's hardly anyone here. Um, that's what happens on uh, a weekday in the middle of winter, so uh, <laughs> let's enjoy the peace and quiet. The I say place. amen to that. Have the whole place to ourselves. Nice and peaceful walk, nice harsh waves hitting the shoreline right to my right. I think I feel some spots of rain coming around. On our journey of the piers, we shall travel from the north to the central. I don't think you're going to be going on the, the big wheel today. I think it's closed. Just as well. There isn't much to see anyway because of the overcast and the drizzle. We might have to head into the family fun fair thing. Okay, let's go. I think it's time to seek some shelter inside the central pier. Time to go. Bye. Like this pier is open on Central Pier. Yes, and I can see the reason why. Because there's another amusement arcade at the other end, and they don't want to lose any business, even in the middle of winter. <laughs> Still raining, people. And I was gonna go on this ride. Only joking. I wasn't. Everything is closed. Not in season, I suppose. This looks rather nice and fast and quick, but probably too fast for some people. Um, but I think that I would have enjoyed going on this when I was younger. The Central Pier does remind me a bit of Brighton's Palace Pier. Uh, big difference is that it was quite crowded and it's empty here today, but uh, look, here's the dodgems they would normally be on in the height of the, the season. And the horsey ride behind me, oh look, there's Paul as well. But I've used all my two peas already. Do you need to get more then? No, no. <laughs> I don't want to get into the gambling habit. Where's Paul? 
pirate Paul. Am I supposed to put my head through here? Yeah. You've, you've got a parrot on your shoulder. Where? Better than a seagull, I suppose. Bye bye! Well, there is quite a good view of the, the town and the tower and the promenade from the central pier. But while there's still some daylight to be had, despite the drizzle, we're going to take a walk to the south pier, aren't we, Paul? <laughs> Umbrellas at the ready. Well, I think the wind might carry them away, but uh, let's see how we get on. Wow, well, we've had quite a walk. You can possibly see the Black Cold Tower shrouded in cloud in the distance. And we swing round and we have reached the South Pier. Let's take a look. We made it, Marcus. Wow. And I am totally soaked. It's quite a walk down here as well. I'm so wet. Time to go in and explore the South Pier. <laughs> it's in Hi. here. It's in here. Well, I think my verdict on all three piers here in Blackpool is that if you're not that interested in the amusement arcades, then there ain't that much to see. Not in the winter anyway. Uh, so, that's just the way it goes, I suppose. There's only so many 2P machines that you can play. Anywhere along the coast you will find a great maritime history and the RNLI are stationed here in Blackpool. This is their visitor centre so if you're in town why don't you drop in and find out a little bit of history of the Lifeboat Institution here in town. We were set a challenge by two friends to find actual real coffee in Blackpool. They couldn't find coffee anywhere when they visited and they searched high and low right along the promenade and in the back streets. Now granted it was five years ago and we're in different times now and we're happy to say that we've only been here a couple of hours in Blackpool and we've managed to find down at the South Pier along the promenade WG Beans and look fabulous coffee awaiting us well it looks fabulous anyway I'm sure it's going to taste absolutely delicious and blueberry muffins to go with it so the big news from Blackpool is they have coffee How much do you normally pay for a pint? Well here in Blackpool I think I found the best bargain ever. Well, certainly for several years. You may recall when we did our special from Brighton a few months ago that I was absolutely raving about getting um, a beer for £2 a bottle. Well, this at Weatherspoon in Blackpool has beaten that. 99p for a pint of Ruddle's Best. And here it is. It's certainly the best deal I've had for a long time. Cheers, everyone. Thank you for watching the show. If you like what you see, then please subscribe. I mean, seriously, please subscribe. Is this the kind of helter skelter that you'd like to go on, Paul? I know I went on this when I was younger. Uh, what well, in uh, at, where was Six that? Six Flags Great Adventure in New Jersey. Yeah, it it was 
pretty crazy. Was it similar to this, the same sort of size? Uh-huh. And it went upside down, round and round. Oh, well, you, you're the one with the head for heights. I don't think I'm up for it today. <laughs> Sorry. No. Look at this. Make a wish. Look. It's a wishing well. Okay. You spent all your two peas now, that's the only thing. Who fancies some late night riding? It was absolutely fabulous. Now the thing is that what we couldn't let you hear at home was the actual music that was played because of copyright issues. It was Kylie Minogue to all the lovers and it was absolutely amazing. But we hope that you have enjoyed the piece of music uh, that we selected to go with the, uh, the light show. The greatest show on earth they call it. And I think it is because it's free. It's it was fabulous. Lots of lights. And uh, you know, if, you've, if you've ever seen um, Strictly from the, the Black Gold uh, Ballroom, the Tower Ballroom, it's, it's right here. 
and uh, you know it's, it's amazing just just to be here so yeah fabulous we do recommend you coming yes indeed it's a bit chilly though cold yeah anyway enjoy the rest of the show <laughs> bye for now who fancies a trip to outer space? It seems that spacemen are alive and well here in Blackpool. Well, you can't come to Blackpool without having a night out in the town. And as we are very... Um, how would you put it? Sophisticated ladies, there's only one place to go. Where? That is the flying handbag. <gasps> Cheers, everyone. We Cheers. are on Martini, and would you believe they have Martini on draft? Yes, really. Cheers. Cheers. Gardens. It's a fantastic building where you can come to see various performances, there's theatre, musicals and also the statue of Morecambe and Wise that was placed here in 2016 to commemorate the many times the fantastic comedy duo performed here. It's a great place to visit also on a wet and rainy day, like today, and there's a little cafe inside as well. Just be warned though, it's closed on Mondays. are doing Snow White at Blackpool's number one panto. And it's at the Grand Theatre. Oh wow, look at this.
fancy a day out on the trams? Why not? We have taken it all the way from Blackpool to Fleetwood. That's right. And it's got a lovely beach. It is raining again. But, of course, as we always say in this show, that you can't help the weather. easiest way to travel is by having the BPL app which is this so this is how much time I have remaining to use my 24 hour ticket so it's a good way to do some sightseeing and yeah I think I should have my my fortune told. Cost a pound. Hello, I am Aldo. What shall I call you? Marcus. Delighted to meet you. Well, I see that you are a very unique person. You are a born leader and unafraid. As Captain Kirk would say, you boldly go where no man has gone before. Now listen carefully. Just between us, favorable circumstances exist for you. My advice is, be ready to act when the time is right. Opportunity does not knock on the same door twice. <laughs> I wish you good luck, my friend. It has been a pleasure seeing you today. Your lucky number is 10. And by the way, wear blue. It looks good on you. <laughs> wow, well, uh, all of my clothes are, are, are blue. And I think I'll be changing my lottery numbers to include 10. Is it my turn to see what fortune is out there for me? I'm scared. <laughs> Pass his pound with a gold coin. Now? Mm. Greetings to you, my friend. Would you like me to look into your future? Yes. Well, I am Aldo, the mystic, and that is what I do best. So, I see that you have special powers as well. You are guided by a lucky star. I'm sure you've seen it. Just look up into the sky on a clear night and you'll find it. <laughs> I foresee you might have a bit of a problem soon with one of your friends. This person will ask to borrow money. But if you follow it, my advice, you will say no. If you would like to give money to your friends, just slip it on the dollar and me. <laughs> It was a pleasure meeting you. And by the way, your lucky numbers are 5 and 12. And your lucky food is ravioli. <laughs> 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 
Well, how come you got two lucky numbers? Because <laughs> I'm different. <laughs> well done. Well, of course, Blackpool is known for its comedy. And over the years, many of Britain's top performers have been here. And just outside the tower is this absolutely fantastic array of jokes from some of the world's best. Let's take a look. It's day three and the weather has actually brightened up, which is good news because we are about to climb to the top of Blackpool Tower. Well, when I say climb, I hope that there's a lift because my little legs wouldn't carry me. I, I'm scared of heights, so I'm hoping that there is going to be a bit of glass around it and I don't um, panic when we're up there. So let's get climbing. Welcome to the Tower Ballroom. This is where most years a special episode of Strictly Come Dancing is broadcast from. Not this year unfortunately, but it's still a fantastic place to visit. You can dance on the floor, I don't think we'll be doing that today. We haven't brought our dancing shoes with us, but we've seen a few people waltzing and doing whatever Latin stuff. But the music's starting up again, so who knows? Maybe we will get our twinkle toes out.
So what were the highlights of your 48 hours in Blackpool? Definitely the Blackpool Tower illuminations that we saw the first night. A second highlight would be use of the trams because we saw it from end to end. Third for me, which might be controversial for you, would be the Blackpool Tower going up to the viewing platform and then also to the ballroom. That was quite interesting to see where they filmed Strictly Come Dancing. So those are all pretty good. And it was good to go to the flying handbag. You mentioned the flying handbag and I have to say the night that we had there um, the first night was probably one of the best nights that we ever had and um, it was so good in fact we went back the next night again only supposedly for one drink and we ended up staying to do um, a couple of quizzes as well including a very interesting musical bingo so yeah uh, you mentioned that the tower might be controversial for me uh, a little bit because I'm not great with heights and um, there were too many people I have to say the lift was crammed and I felt very uncomfortable so I'm afraid at uh, the tower itself like seeing it with the illuminations it was fantastic but the trip up wasn't so good um, but all in all you know winter in Blackpool um, off season is a good time to come if you don't want to be stuck with lots of crowds all around you um, the weather is always a little bit controversial um, the trams, of course, yes, you've just, just reminded me as one passes, and the piers, and uh, we got a little bit wet on the first day, but whatever. So I think, all in all, 48 hours, just about the right amount of time to spend here in Blackpool. Anyway, that's it for today's show. Coming up on Saturday is the first of our five Christmas specials. So we'll see you then.